I left so many people that I loved behind. So many that I can hardly remember them all. But there are two. Just two that I can never forget. I thought I was done with them. But they're not done with me.
Hey, thanks. Some days I envy the dead. Sheet, come in. Over. Vanessa, you there? God damn it. Hey, Pete. Michonne, what are you doing up? Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You holding up okay? Don't worry about you. You're not the easiest to read. It's hard to tell how you're really doing. Things are getting better. Slowly. You're not gonna recover overnight. These things take time. Just please tell me if, you know, if it gets as bad as it did. I just need to keep busy. Oak! Oak! Law! Get down here, Michonne's taking your ship. Two minutes! I still haven't heard from Rashid or Vanessa. It's not like those guys to be in a contact for this long. We trade every time I come through, same spot. Everything's just gone. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the dock. They might have moved on, left the area. Not without telling us that they've left a message behind or something. They wouldn't just disappear. Maybe we can pass by again on our way back. Listen. You hear it? You hear it, right? It sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, that you? I think I hear something, yeah. Hard to make out, though. Hey. Michonne? Again with the shortwave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. 
And if they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I want to know why. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? You heard it that time, right? She said help. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like Vanessa. But it's someone. She might know what happened here. No, oh, damn it! We're losing the signal. Look, if we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. All we'll find out there is trouble, Pete. I mean it. What's the point in just surviving? We gotta do better than that. All right, so let's help her. At least someone gets it. You're the only one on this boat that even comes close to understanding. Not Berto, not Sadiq, especially not fucking Oak. You know there are people worth helping. Take over for me, okay? I'm gonna turn the boat around. Where are you? Holy oh, shit, it worked. We are on the mob deck. Anything? I heard her. Barely. I knew it. Oh, this is a bad idea, Pete. You want to find more people. You're forgetting what people are like. What is she doing? Bloody hell! Who's that? Can't see a damn thing! Everyone okay? Berto! Sadiq! You guys better get up here! What do we hit? Hell if I know! I can't see a damn thing! Berto! Hold the wheel steady! Take in those sails! Now! Sadiq! Get down! Are you alright? Thanks for the save. Jesus! Oh, get the jib under control! That damn shortwave. You just had to take us in close, right into a fucking rock! Hey, I've been sailing these waters for years. There aren't any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. You said it yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is gonna find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. You're just being paranoid. It's not paranoia if you're right. We're stuck out here, nowhere to go. You all need to calm down. We don't know anything yet. She's right. Panicking about it won't make us any less stuck. That girl on the shortwave. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oak, Sadiq, get those sails tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on. Show him. What exactly did she say? I asked where she was, and she said, Mob Jack. I couldn't make out more than that. Michonne, take these. See if you can figure out what we got stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving again, for all our sakes. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Pete. Whatever we ran into, did a goddamn number on the boat. Damn.
Not much to see out there. There it is. Hey, Pete. Figured out what we're stuck on. Damn. At least it's not Rashid's boat. Hey, Michelle. Hope no one's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just... I don't want to see this fall apart, you know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. It's not gonna fall apart. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't let him see me slacking off like this. Running low on rice. Need to find some food soon. This should start producing fruit one of these days. Hey, Michonne, we could use a hand here. Maybe we gotta bleed the wind out of this sail. I stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. Look, he's just an optimist. You call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. You think this is an accident? Damn wind. Grab it. You're saying this is a trap. People do anything to survive these days. And to get their hands on a boat like this? <laughs> oh, you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. We can think of it. Things are ancient. No wonder they broke. You see anything out there? Looks like an old ferry. Could be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. Maybe. <clears throat> Find anything? Saw a ferry. Maroon near the shore. A ferry? Didn't see a ferry last time I was here. Tiller lever shot. Snapped in two. The what? Tiller lever. Connects the wheel to the... Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need, Pete. Might have what we need to fix this damn thing. It's the best option we got. Let's get to that ferry. I don't want to be stuck here any longer than we have to be. Can't argue with that. Maybe we can find some sign of Rashid's group. Let's round up the crew. Michonne and I will scout the ferry, see what we can find. All right, so we're just gonna sit around waiting for you. You wish. You've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. Oh, Christ, here we go again. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull it out of here, and lay anchor near the shoreline. Got it. Don't go anywhere. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. Let's turn into a rescue mission. Forget his friends, right? Best get the parts and get back here. Pete means well, but you know what they say about good intentions. We'll get what we need and get out. That's the plan. Good. Come on, let's get going.
Sure it's quiet out here, huh? Not a sound. Kind of peaceful in a way. I don't know. Something's not right. <laughs> Ever the optimist. You know, something's really been bothering me, and I have to ask. What? Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Says I look like a pirate. What do you think? Be honest. I want to know. Oh, fuck Oak. What does he know? <laughs> I knew you were all right. I think it ties the look together. <sighs> you had to get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. It's got to be exhausting. I'm sure you have your reasons. Just makes it hard to get to know people. I think you're exaggerating. This is you. All right, I get it. You know, when we first brought you on board, never thought you'd decide to stick around. You didn't talk to anybody. I just assumed you'd take off the minute you got your strength back. But I keep expecting to wake up and find this dinghy gone, and you with it. But here you are. Haven't got sick of me yet. What can I say? You're not terrible company. <laughs> I'm flattered. When we met, you were... I mean, I saw what you were about to do. You haven't had it easy out there. I know you mostly keep it to yourself. I don't want to make you talk about it. Not unless you want to. Being out on the water, keeping busy. It helps. If I stop even for a minute, it starts to catch up to me again. When things are quiet, I end up thinking too much. You know, before this, I was just on my own, like you were. I convinced myself I liked it that way. But after a while, I just... I guess I should have kept my mouth shut, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse, you know. Yeah. I know. Like this. Might be someone who can tell us where everyone went. There's no sign of anyone. Just those fucking crows. Something might have scared them off. I hope you're right. Maybe they found someplace better. Well, unless we can find another boat. Looks like we're stuck here. 
Looks abandoned. Doesn't mean it is, though. We'll figure something out. Glad you're feeling so optimistic. Looks like there's two ways in. The ladder or the window. Those walkers aren't gonna stay put for long. We need to get going. took a lot of care to keep this ferry from listing. Wonder where they are. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. These people weren't walkers. They were executed. to a child. I mean, I know the world's going to hell. It's awful. All of it. With a child? I know. <sighs> I knew it was bad. But I didn't expect this. here long enough to need this. There's no fuel in it anyway. They made sure none of them would come back. Looks like this thing got a lot of use. So much goddamn blood. If we're gonna find anything in this boat, it'll be in here.
Poor bastard. I have never seen anything like this. All those people just massacred. Who the fuck could have done that? It wasn't war. It wasn't even self-defense. It's just sick. Focus on finding the girl. Then we can worry about who did this. You're right. Hold up. We don't know what's in there. What do you see? There's a duffel bag. Looks like it's in good shape. Any sign of people? Looks quiet. But keep your guard up. My guard's always up. Thanks. scavenged everything else but left this it makes no sense I know but damn we could really use this stuff bunch of medicine where'd all this stuff come from oh my god Mary Lily's peaches and beans god I used to have these three times a day breakfast lunch and dinner drove my mom crazy Plenty of ammunition. Cigarettes. Don't show those to Berto. We finally just got him to quit. We should see what else we can find. Someone forced it. Anything? Empty. You think candy bars are just gonna magically pour out of there? Hey, never hurts to try. Tell ya. Haven't had one of those in years. Who said I was gonna share? Money's still here. No use to anyone now. Kid, just tell me now. 
I'm Michonne, and that's Pete. We're just passing through. Yeah, sure you are. That bag belongs to us. So step aside, all right? Don't be stupid. I don't want to do this, but we need that stuff. So just back up. Take it. It's yours. Stay put. Randall! Shit! Looks like you caught our thieves. Nice job. You? Man, you gotta be kidding me. And you've got help this time. Interesting. Thought you were a solo act. What the hell is going on? Don't play dumb. This is a misunderstanding. <laughs> Damn. I know Sam here didn't do all this. Get them all onto the boat. And be careful. These new ones aren't fucking around. We'll take him to Norma. They try anything, shoot him. Let's see. Two canteens, a lighter, pocket knife, oh, machete. Any bites, rashes, coughing? No, they're clean. You know we're gonna need those weapons back. We'll get him back, once we've cleared all this Bullshit. up. Bullshit! Watch it, girl. You're in deep enough already. You know, if I had my way, I'd just dump you over the side. See how well you swim with your hands tied behind your back. Guy well, might talk to me. Norma's Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. You're lucky she's he doesn't shots. seem like the most reasonable listen, I know guy. We can work something huh? out. We can just start talking to you. Might be worth the shot. Let me do the talking. Hey! Cut the chatter. You speak when spoken to, understand? All right. You. We'll start with you. What's your name? It's okay. You can tell me. I'm just making conversation. My name's Michonne. Randall, now that the, uh, pleasantries are behind us, let's talk about what you did. We didn't take anything from you. Shut your mouth. I'm talking to your... cohort. Bet we're not the only ones you've stolen from. I didn't steal shit from you. Then you've got nothing to worry about. Let's see here. Nice machete. You handled those walkers back there. But how are you against something that can actually fight back? It's plenty sharp. Take good care of this blade. Untie me, and I'll show you. I'll bet. 
weapon like this, you gotta be comfortable getting in close. Getting messy. You know, every person we find living, they got some dead with them. Who was it for you, I wonder? Mother? Father? A couple sisters, maybe? Not kids. You? <laughs> oh, man. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. So you... You got nothing left to lose. No wonder you're all stoic and shit. But hell, we all lose people. Can't let it get you down. You're damn right I've got nothing left to lose. Means I'm not afraid of anything. Everyone's afraid of something. Anyone who says otherwise is just uh, lying to themselves. Look at that. Here we are. Monroe. Hey, you see them? Doubt you got a good look last time you were here. Too busy stealing from us to appreciate our little community. Bet you never gave them a second thought. Folks you fucked over. It wasn't us. What was that? We haven't been here before. Save it for Norma. My sister. She's the one in charge here. She'll be just thrilled to see you. Zachary, thank God. You hurt? I'm fine, Jonas. I'm fine. Here, found your missing medicine. Thanks. I'll uh get this back to the sick bay. Hey, your job's not done yet. Come on. Randall, what's all this? I hoped I'd never see you again, Samantha. Norma, I'm... Not a word. Not from you. Found them on the ferry, along with this. That one there. Michonne? She's the one to watch out for. That true? You dangerous? You don't believe me? I've never been wrong about something like this. I think she's more than capable of speaking for herself, Randall. I'm dangerous when I need to be. Aren't we all? Though dangerous isn't so bad anymore. You survive if you're dangerous. I can respect that. Randall, escort these ladies to the storeroom. Find somewhere comfortable for the other two. What? That's my brother! Come on. You got this under control? Sam! Greg, you'll be okay. Get moving. Where are they taking Pete? Don't you worry about him. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are gonna have ourselves a talk. I'm not gonna let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. Anything goes down and I'm blaming you. 
And you don't want that. Trust me. Nothing's gonna happen down here. See that it doesn't. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but that's, uh, probably not gonna happen. Ugh, we've got to get out of here. They're gonna hurt Greg. These people... You don't know what they're capable of. I'm worried about Pete, too, okay? Should have never involved my brother in this, and, and now you, I'm... Um... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Why would they hurt Greg if the two of you didn't do anything wrong? Because! These are not good people! This is my fault. I'm so sorry, I... I was just trying to protect my family, that, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. What the hell is going on here? I just wanted to use the radio to, to reach people. I never expected that Randall would show up there. Not after... <sighs> Ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp edge. Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. <sighs> Never be able to slip my hand out. Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. These must have come from there. One of the Mob Jack's first aid kits. This used to be full? How should I know? This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. I want to get out of this. I need you to tell me the truth. You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. Came with his whole crew. And he just... murdered them. They were trying to run away. How do you know? Did you see it happen? We were on a supply run. We heard gunshots and screams. We tried to look for survivors, but... Then they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Well, you know what happens. They just... It's nothing to them. I saw what Randall did. Now do you get it? If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's loose. Just a, a little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. Think about what you're doing. We need a plan. Ugh, this is my plan. This is... 
is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. What's it gonna be? The time's not right. I'll get us out of here, but not like this. Just wait and follow my lead. Okay, I'm trusting you. Quiet down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept it together. Which is good, because Norma wants to talk to you. Nothing but a friendly word. Come on now. I promise. What about Greg? Well, that's what Norma wants to talk to you about. So, Michonne. That's a great name, Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Nice, strong name. Norma's not so bad. Eh, who knows? It's a new world. Maybe the name will make a comeback. I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure. Once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. You want to know me? <sighs> Let's talk. That's what I like to hear. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. You seem brighter than Samantha. It's only been a few months now. A few months, huh? And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. Ending up there. Our boat ran into some trouble nearby. The ferry was the only thing in sight. Your boat, huh? Hey, Zachary. Yeah. Get Janie to take a crew down by the shoreline. See if they can find this boat she's talking about. Bring anyone they find back here. If they need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? Or is it just the four of you? I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. There's nobody else. Hmm. That's interesting. I know how this whole thing must look to you. I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Samantha really isn't the kind of person you want to get involved with. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big, bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. You almost believed her, didn't you? Yeah. She said something like that. See? <laughs> I knew she would. 
She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. And now she's stealing from me again. Yeah, that frustrated me too. I'm glad to hear you say that. Not a lot of good people left, I'm afraid. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. You give more chances than most. It's not easy. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You and those kids were caught with this bag, but there's still much more missing. Where's the rest of it? Bullets and ammunition, handguns and a couple of rifles. All missing. That's all there was. Well, it didn't just disappear, did it? Bring in the kid. What, what, what do you do it? Here's how this is gonna work. The boy's gonna answer some questions. Since you two know each other so well, I'm gonna let you do the asking. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact checking, Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother did. <laughs> Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on now. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. How long have we been together? A, uh, long time. We're old family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said it's only been a few months. Someone's full of shit. I lied. Had a feeling. Uh, you're gonna regret that. Okay, let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people. You remember, don't you? She wanted to know, are there others? There are. There's, uh, th there's more of us. Lots more. Well-armed, too. Well, that's disappointing. She said it was just you four. Randall! Oh, go! God. Please, I'll tell you whatever you want! Aim that at me! I dare you. How about I just shoot him? Randall, I think you made your point. Ugh. Get a towel, Zachary. Leave him alone, okay? He's just a kid. Throw him a pity party when we're done. Get the fucking towel. You lying again? Try to be kind. Try to extend my goddamn hospitality. He's telling the truth. I'm the one who lied. Norma, please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far, like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get them in line by being soft. Now, being smart isn't the same as being soft, Randall. 
We're not gonna get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below and get the other fella. You're brave. Admitted you lied. Saved the boy some pain. You hear that, Greg? I hope you appreciate what she did for you today. Zachary, a word in private. Hey, you okay? What do you think? <laughs> Are they done with us? Or is it gonna get worse? My guess is it's gonna get worse. Keep it together, Greg. What do you think I'm doing? Even if it didn't look like it. I can't believe I pissed myself. Seriously. My little brothers could see me now. I've never done that before. Never. <laughs> I'm not like that. Afraid. Fuck! I'm not gonna tell anyone what happened here. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure the smell's gonna give it away. I knew about the rotters. I mean, I fought them before, killed them. It's bad. But people are worse, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't know it was this bad. But they know what they're doing. They just don't care. Not everyone is like these people. I've met others. Folks who don't kill unless they have to. I wish they were here. I don't know. The thing is, is I, I say that about people, but people, family, they're the only reason to live. What if you don't even have that? I left them behind. My daughters. I didn't know. You lie to yourself to live, so you keep going. But when you stop... Michonne! What did they do to you? Just ask questions. Hey, hey Sam? I haven't seen her. <sighs> Shit. How are we playing this? Yeah, Michonne. How are we playing this? I'm all ears. Any day now? I'll get us out of this. And I just cannot wait to see how you do that. Take care of this. Come on. Zachary? I just have a few questions. I know just where to put you. Oh, what the hell? Jonas! Haven't you got a patient that needs you? No, you can't just barge Jonas. in here! See, not everyone here lives in squalor. Jonas and Zachary had the nicest room on the ship. The good doctor deserves it. Gosh, he just works so hard. What is it you do, Zachary? Huh? Besides fuck Jonas. Okay, fine, Randall, That's let's right. just... You do nothing. You cower and you whine because you don't have the balls to do things that need doing around here. This is how you treat your own people? Only when they need it. Look, whatever you're gonna do, Randall... No, I'm not gonna do shit. Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Here, go on, get them talking. Where, where are the rest of the supplies? The bags with the ammo. Hey, you shouldn't keep your finger on the trigger. Don't tell me how to hold a fucking gun. I don't know, Zachary. Maybe she does know better than you. Please, no one has to get hurt here. Shut up! Just because Randall's an asshole doesn't mean you have to be. Hey! You gonna take that, Zachary? I'm not like him. Prove it. I don't think she's taking you very seriously. Come on! I need a location. Now! That's it. Careful. Don't get too close to her now. Please. We all need to calm down. OK, 
Okay, okay. Just take a deep breath, okay? Talk to us. I'll stay calm, if you do. Hey, who's in charge here? You or her? Huh? You want answers? Talk to me. Stop! Stop! Don't move! Sam! Greg, don't! It's okay. You think this is okay? Get it together, Zachary! Stop! Leave her alone. You want to threaten someone? Threaten me. Last chance, Zachary! Fucking do something! Stop! <laughs> Damn it, Zachary! Now who's taking things too what? far? I did. Outside. I, I did. Now. No, 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 Greg. Sam. I can't. Oh, we have to get out of these. We have to help him. Sam. Oh, God. Someone's shirt. I could slow down the bleeding. We need to lay him down. Come on, Greg. Come on, don't do this. Please, don't do this. Think of, think of Alex. You're his hero. What will he do without you? Not if, not a very good hero. No, you are. You are, Greg. Please hang on. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's going to turn, Sam. He's gonna... He's gonna become one of them. Everyone turns. Always. You need to be ready. I'm gonna need your help. I can't. I can't. I just need another second, please. I can't. I can't let you go yet. Greg. Greg. I love you. I know it looks like your brother, but it's not him. Not anymore. I just need more time. <sighs> Hold him down. What happened to him? You fucking shot him! I didn't mean to! Do you think that matters? You killed him! It was an accident. I swear, okay? I, I swear! Please! Lower! Please lower the gun. I'll explain everything! We should hear him out. Why? He's a murderer! Please! You're not leaving this room, you son of a bitch! This, this bastard killed my brother! You know he has to die!
We all got demons, honey. And I see some fucked up shit in my time. But you, you're a whole different animal. Caged up, just itching to get out. I seen it in your eyes. You're a killer. That's what you do. You don't know what I can do. Listen, you hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. What do we hit? Hell if I know. I can't see a damn thing. Berto, hold the wheel steady. Greg! Who the hell are you people? Randall! Looks like you caught our thieves. Nice job. You know, every person we find living, they got some dead with them. Who was it for you, I wonder? Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Stop! Sam. Oh, God. You fucking shot him. I didn't mean to. Do you think that matters? I, I screwed up. Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. I can't undo what I did, but maybe I can help. I owe you. Both of you. Please. You want to help? Start by getting us the fuck out of here. Not going to be easy, but I'll do what I can. Hey, is, is he still breathing? <laughs> Jonas! I thought you'd have more time. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, no. Jonas, listen. I, I, I said I'd help them escape. Then we need to disappear, too. Yeah. Okay. Let's find Pete and get the hell off this boat. Thanks, Michonne, for stopping me as much as I wanted to for what he did. I'm glad I didn't kill Zachary. Killing Zachary wasn't the answer here, and it wouldn't have made you feel any better. I, I, I know. He's still up there, and he's got company. 
Okay. We'll distract the guard, then we're out of here. Hey, Joe. Can you give me a hand with something? I couldn't get anything out of him. Zachary was useless. Oh, these people just aren't talking. Yeah. Problem is, we still know nothing about him. I'll get him to talk. Don't worry. I have to worry. After last time... It won't go down like that. I swear. It can't. They see me gone. You haven't got a chance of getting out of here. Hey, Randall! You want to tell me how this happened? Zachary! He was guarding the door! Right. Samantha put you up to this? Where is she? Come on. Out with it. Where is she? Probably headed for shore. I doubt she got far. Norma, forget about the girl. We can figure this out between us. I'd like that, Pete. But your friend here seems to have other ideas. Randall, sound the horn! Sure thing. Drop the machete! I said drop it! I said drop it while you still have- <laughs> figure it out. Michonne? I'll see if I can find us a ride out of here. How many are there? Only three. There's a boat we can use. We'll take them out if we have to. Them or us. No! We are not killing people. I'll give myself up. Paid. It buys you time to escape and no one dies. I'll find a way back to you. I can reason with these people. That'll never work. We have to fight our way out. Pete, they'll kill you. They won't. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. I'm doing what's best for my crew. That includes you. When you get your opening, run. To Norma. I hope he knows what he's doing. Come on, we gotta go. I think he 
might be telling the truth. Just keep on talking, Pete. All right. Keep your hands up. Take me to her, and we'll sort everything out. already stolen our shit, you're not taking our boat too. Walk away. You don't want to do this. Oh, I very much do. There's no way I can get back to Pete's boat. We can hide out at my house until it's clear. My dad can help you. It's not far. We'll get there before morning. He can really help me. He's the smartest guy I know. He's got a temper, but I can vouch for you. distance between us and Norma. Hope the walkers go for them instead. We can lose them in the woods. How are we gonna do that? It's not like we're just gonna walk through those things.
around his head. Hurry! No. Now we walk. We'll stay close. We'll stay quiet. As long as we don't bump into any of them, we'll be fine. Be glad it did. gonna like it. It's not as bad as it looks. I know the way up. This will work. Looks pretty damn bad to me. Better than going the long way around. Craig and I climbed it one by one. I don't think we have time for that. Follow my lead. Just move. Randall, I found him! This way! Go!
Sean. You'll be all right soon. I'm gonna get you home. My house is up ahead. We're not far. I found Norma's place a while back, when it was just a couple of boats anchored to a pier. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. And, and now Greg is dead, because I couldn't leave it alone. Why'd she let you go? She took pity on me. I told her my family was starving, and that was enough. This last time, I thought we could just hide this stuff on the ferry. But Greg, he, he didn't think it was safe. I, I should have... Listen... I'm dizzy. Thanks. You're not looking so good. I feel even worse. Talking helps. I I don't want to black out on you. I'm trying not to. Your family. What are they like? Dad, Dad was a lawyer. So I never won any arguments with him. Uh, my brothers, James and, uh, and Alex, they look up to Greg so much. They're gonna be destroyed. dangerous out here. Dad was right. He said none of us should leave the house. Walkers are trouble. People are worse. I didn't listen. You can't let yourself think like that. Just focus on getting home. I, I don't know. How am I supposed to tell my dad about Greg? It's gonna ruin him. I don't know if I can. Let me handle it. I'll tell him. Thanks, Michonne. <sighs> Made it. Sam. Sam. Sam, wake up.
Almost there, Sam. Almost home. <sighs> Don't fucking move! Not one more step! <sighs> Sam! Is she dead? Did you kill her? Answer me or I'll shoot! I'm not fucking around! Sam's still alive, but she won't be for long unless you let us in. <coughs> I she won't. Sam? <laughs> Maybe you shot her. Then you'll come in here and kill everyone. I can't take that risk. So just put Sam down and leave. Sam trusted me to get her home. How do you think I found this place? I'm doing this for her, not you. you to find help, okay? Uh, okay. Dad! Dad! What's your name? I, it, it's James. Okay, James. You got a first aid kit? C kind of. Get it. Fast. Sam, I got you. I'm here. Uh, I need to clean the wound. Uh, Sam! Uh, is the bullet still in there? Didn't punch through. We gotta, we gotta get it out, right? There's too much blood. Uh, uh, You're gonna have to use this. This is gonna really fucking hurt. Hold her down! You two! Insane. You're going to kill her! Let me do this. I've almost got the wound closed. James, let me... Is she going to make it? 
I can't lose her. I can't. My poor Samantha. I don't know. But we did all we could. Tell me. What happened? You appear out of nowhere? With my daughter nearly bleeding to death? I saved Sam. Carried her through a walker-infested forest back to you. When Sam wakes up, we'll see what really happened. Look at me. I don't know who the hell you are, but... Dad! Dad? Where is Greg? I'm so sorry. What? What do you mean? Greg didn't come back with them. <laughs> No. No. It's okay, boys. It's okay. I'm here. Colette? Elodie? You girls in here? Girls? You in here?
left this all behind. They tried to call me. Hey, they're right. How did I miss that? God damn it. For them. Me too. God, I hope they're okay. I, I, I talked to Dominic earlier, but there was there was screaming. Christ, it was horrible. I don't know if it was him or who, but God, Michonne, he sounded so scared. The girls too. Christ, just crying. I, I couldn't stand it. Poor thing, they must be terrified. Donna, where was he taking the girls? Here, to my place, outside the city. Thought it'd be safer. Hours ago. We have to find them. They could be anywhere. And if we can't get a hold of them, I I don't where do we what do we do? Stay where you are. I'm coming to you. Hey, wait! Stop! Oh, oh, please! Please! Oh, oh, oh. Donna! Donna, get out of there now! Donna! Who's Donna? Did you say Donna? You okay? Just thinking about someone I once knew. It's okay. I do that too. John, he... He went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right, while I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Their brother's dead, sister's shot. I mean, fuck, right? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried. Don't worry about it. Happens more often than I like to admit. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. That patch of dirt, his mom's buried there. A year or so back, she just... She was sick. Not in the head. 
something with her heart. She couldn't handle it, I guess. I never understood that. You can't give in. You have to keep going, no matter what. Sam said the same thing to her mom, just a few days before. When she did it, I never seen Sam so angry. If it wasn't for Sam... Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Help me up. Just stay down, Sam. I need to help him. You're hallucinating, Sam. I... Greg isn't here, okay? Sam. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. Yeah, fight until the day you die. I need a word with you. In private. children, a son, a daughter. I do, two little girls. Know the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. We erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids, but the past, it always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm, but we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's, I could really use your help. These kids deserve a real childhood. Some place where fear isn't the norm. If I can give them even a sliver of that, I'll die happy. You've got a good thing going here. Safe house, nice family. It's more rare than you know. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. <sighs> Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things, did he? Or those, whatever they are. No, he was Greg until the end. <gasps> Thank God. <laughs> uh. 
I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. Peekaboo. yourself a golden goose. You think I'm shitting any eggs? Forget it. I'm asking the questions here. Say now, won't this be fun? That's up to you. <laughs> Did 
does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing a neighborly knock on your door right about now. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Someone should. Yeah! Tell her my hands are vice stuff, and I've swallowed a pint of my own blood. Where the hell are you? That's exactly what she wants to hear. Randall! God damn it, Randall. I'm sending everyone towards where we heard the shot. No. Don't tell me. Are you afraid to talk to my sis? You should be. Half the boys in the Union were terrified of her. There was this one fella. <laughs> always, always gave her shit. Till one day, she hoisted him up on a hydraulic lift. And they're told a new asshole. <laughs> I'd rather she doesn't know shit. She knows enough. And when she gets you, my face will tell the rest. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt like a rotted pumpkin. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well, not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Michonne? Is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. Sam, I... I'm sorry. No! 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 James! If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now! You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! I ain't I the bell of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. Then you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. You're right about that. Feels good to get that out in the open, don't it? Well, maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. There's still a chance we can make things better. Don't 
Tell me you still believe that lie, Michonne. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michonne. <gasps> or dying in. Or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't there. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of mother brings a child into this mess of the world. There ain't no blue skies for them anymore. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. should be the one laying there, not your brother. Pete, if you're sure about this... Don't worry. I've got this. They, they had some supplies just sitting out and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but... She, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really, you'd come after me? You're one of us now. 
And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is out. They're growing on me, too. Kinda nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. Oh God, he's dead. How could you? If he's dead, so are we. All I can say is I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry isn't going to save us. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. You're not a killer, Sam. Don't become one. You don't know what I am. <sighs> Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't, don't know. know. Wait. You hear that? Michelle, it's Pete. Please pick up. Something's happened. I don't have much time. 
We need to talk. Pete, where are you? Did you get away from Norma? No, it's not that. There's something you have to know. Norma and her people, they... They, they have the crew. Sadiq, Oak, and Birdo. Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe us anything. I just want to keep them safe. That's my deal, Michonne. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Coming here for her brother. When she sees what we can do. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Norma wants her brother. It's not like there's another option here. The bag helps. A little. Might be enough to stall her. And then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. It might work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. <laughs> Sam, come back here. Sam! He's not going anywhere. Stop. You're going to hurt yourself. God damn it. Sam, stop.
maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> We couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. You should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. So what happens when Norma comes? We fight with everything we have. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. And? How does it feel? It's it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How would they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Everyone gets scared sometimes. I'm not afraid. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. He can't get away with it. He's our best chance of surviving. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Hang on to this. You don't know when you might need it. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. I I'll be careful. A 
Wish it didn't always come to this. Janie, Rich, what's all up? Prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. Sam's passport. This must be her mother, Sophia Fairbanks. Almost out of space in these. Wow, they went all over the world together. Those days are long gone now. Right behind you. Alex must have drawn this one. I hope he's okay. Not much left. If we get pinned down, we won't last more than a few days on this stuff. This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Nearly empty. What a mess. Ugh. Worked better than I thought. Hey, thanks for before. I, uh, I couldn't have moved it myself. Something you need? Want a hand? No. Having something to do helps me not think about everything. Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. But she's trying to convince you to leave too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I guess she's found her chance. I'm not leaving without you. I wouldn't blame you if you did. You're here to get your people back and that's fine. None of this is your mess. It's just, so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. He took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was, it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here. I, Maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. We were happy here. It's still a house, Sam. Just wood and brick. The people inside, Paige and your brothers, they're who you need to protect. That's what I'm trying to do. They won't survive out there. I can't protect them. I couldn't with Greg. This is the best chance they've got. You found the bag? Yeah, here. Thanks. I should get back to work.
going to be able to look at that the same way again. James and Alex, wonder how they'll get through all this. Old record player. Look, look, see that matchless host march along in the Lord they boast for Pharaoh's army got drowned and oh Mary, don't you weep? Oh Mary, don't you weep, don't you weep? Oh Mary, don't you weep, don't you weep? For Pharaoh's army got drowned and oh Mary, don't you weep? Who are the people who look so grand? They must be headed for the promised land For Pharaoh's army got drowned And oh, Mary, don't you weep They are so happy, just hear them sing They must be looking for the coming king For Pharaoh's army got drowned And oh, Mary, don't you weep Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you weep Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't Is that music? I can't reach you. Can I come in? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise, even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. Daddy. I wish it could go back too. I wish it all the time. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No. Your brother didn't become one of them. Greg is still Greg. Is that what's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna die and change into one too? <laughs> no. I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. Thanks. 
Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Thanks for letting me see your fortress. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's, she's not thinking. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. <sighs> I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. Or Greg. I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything, Sophie. They look really happy together. Michonne, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. I didn't know what to tell him. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. 
You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. You're right. You look a little, well, like you're losing it a little bit. I'm just worried about Pete and the crew. You'll get them back. I thought about joining them, but it felt weird. I mean, I live here, but I'm still not family, you know? They treat me like I am, but I know that's not true. Family is different. These days, families aren't the people you're born to. It's the people you stay with, the people who care about you. Pete's crew, they're a family. I guess that's true. It's gonna be tough leaving this place. I just hope I can convince Sam to go with me. Michelle? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? You'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. It's 
too quiet out there. You ready for this? Getting your crew back? It's not gonna be easy. We just have to be careful not to provoke her. I don't want this to turn into a fight. Hopefully Norma feels that way too. going on? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. Just hear her out, Michonne. Where's Pete's crew? They're not far. Don't worry. They're fine. I know you're worried. So here. See, I can be reasonable. Thought you can get rid of me, huh? Don't get used to it. Listen, Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You'll get Randall after you hand over my friends. I brought you Pete. You'll get the rest when I get my brother. Careful, Michonne. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Why the hell are we standing here? We're all homeless because of her. Jenny, stop! They should be dead! That is not what we are here for. Now be quiet! My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. I think I've been more than reasonable. Show me, Randall. Oak! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have two more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? He's right here. Randall, you okay? Ooh. Hang on, I gotcha. Now hand him over, and we'll be done with this. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! Ah. Virgo! Everyone put your guns uh. down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. You better get your people under control. <laughs> Gabby! Fuck! I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. I'm not gonna ask you again. 
No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Hand him over. Just do it, Michonne. Please. Okay. You can have him. Good. Here we go. What's wrong with him? Michonne killed him. He's a rotter. You're insane. Do you know what she'll do when she finds out? It was a mistake. Some mistake. <laughs> Fuck. Randall. Randall, you okay?
stopped firing. They're surrounding the house. We have to get out of here. Where are the boys? Upstairs. Alex, James, hurry up. Okay? Did you did you get out? Did you make it? I need to know. You 
See you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Leave, Mama? Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Your mother already made up her mind. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. 
Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You didn't need me, Sam. You would have figured it out on your own. I'm not sure if that's true, but thanks for saying so. <sighs> It'll be harder out there without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Yeah, I'm going to miss him too. I know this has been hard on you. In more ways than one. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I could just hear you screaming. I wasn't thinking clearly. All the smoke. I saw things that couldn't be real. It's happening more often now. The hallucinations, hearing things. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You'll have lost your chance. I like being around you guys. It's not goodbye for us. We'll always be around. Come on. 